Hello friends, I am sure you might have noticed something like F1, F2 or F3 hybrid seats or sometimes heirloom seats written on seat packets. In today's episode, we look into what these letters and terms actually mean and what's their importance in gardening. That's coming up. If you are interested in gardening, please subscribe to my channel with the bell icon clicked. Well, today we will learn the types of seeds that is hybrid seeds which can be F1, F2 or F3, then heirloom seeds and what are open pollinated seeds and importance of knowing these types in gardening, especially for those who think of saving their plant seeds for sowing in the next season. Let's begin with hybrid seeds. Let us first know what this letter F stands for. The letter F represents philia, it's a Latin word meaning daughter. So the hybrid seeds are of three types, F1, F2 and F3. These are actually produced by crossbreeding of two stable plants with different genetics and the pollen from male are used to fertilize the female. If you want to learn some basics of pollination, I have an animated video explaining pollination and seed formation. You can get that link at the end screen of this video. So now let's understand F1, F2, F3 by drawing a family tree. Imagine plants as people. So the first generation daughters or the seeds are simply F1 and F2 are grandchildren and F3 are great grandchildren. That means F2 are produced from F1 and F3 are produced from F2. This is so simple. But why are these numbers so important in choosing the seeds when you are visiting a garden store or even purchasing online? Well, you must know what you are purchasing, like whether you are purchasing children, grandchildren or great-grandchildren. So what actually happens at some point of time with these generations and what to expect in such plants? We'll look into this now. Now regarding F1 hybrid seeds or the first generation hybrid seeds, just remember, if you purchase a packet of F1 seeds, you should exactly get the same qualities of uh, the parents like flowering, growth potency and even disease resistance. And it should produce the picture perfect of uh, the flowers or fruits that's printed on the seed packet. If you can get F1 seeds, they are the best. But true F1 seeds are generally expensive. So always purchase them from a trusted seed company. Now coming to F2 hybrid seeds, that is the second generation seeds. When F1 plants produce flowers and when they self pollinate or even hand pollinated then F2 seeds are produced. They are sometimes known as S2, that is where S stands for self. So how this is important to us? F2 generation plants have a lot of genetic variations and often are less vigorous and may not always produce the original flowers or fruits as displayed in the seed packets. But many F2 seeds from good companies can also produce identical flowers, fruits or even vegetables similar to parents. So F2 seeds are popular nowadays because they are very inexpensive and have some decent disease resistance as well. Some gardeners might think of saving seeds from plants grown with F2 seeds, that is F3 seeds. F3 seeds do not have that potency and the qualities of F2. So the best seeds are F2 and F1. Now let's learn two more terms used in gardening that is open pollinated and heirloom seeds. Open pollinated plant cultivars are pollinated by natural pollinators like the insects, birds, wind or any natural mechanisms and even if they are pollinated by hand. Whereas the heirloom seeds are actually having a history of being passed down within a family for many generations like something similar to generational shearing of heirloom jewelry or furniture and things like that. Some seed companies even sell very old heirloom seeds like uh, the cultivars that can be more than 50 years or even 100 years old. One more important point here to remember is people think hybrid seeds are some synthetic modern seeds produced by genetic modification. These genetically modified seeds or crops are actually different and these are created by using the advanced genetic modification technology in agriculture. So there you have it folks, if you found this video useful please like, share and subscribe. Happy gardening!